Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and I am fixing to do a, a make this um, pocket folder and I wanted to go ahead and video it. This is something I'm making for my Etsy store and this stuff I got from Porch Prints off of um, Etsy and let me show you, this is her name right here. I'll put it in my description there, but my porch prints. And this is the one that I made already. This is a B one that she has. And I just absolutely love her digital downloads. They're so, so pretty. And I love the B theme. So I made this up and I did mine a little different than she did, but it's like a three pocket um, system here and very easy to do. Um, I don't follow instructions well, and if I can do it, anybody can. And uh, it just, you know, you, it's just cutting out the ephemera and folding the pocket. So um, it's really cute, I love it. And I am working on a bead, little bead journal to go with it when I put it in my Etsy store. So here is my lavender one. I have one that um, I'm fixing to do up a small lavender book. And I also have this, she makes these little mini um, books. And this is a uh, one for herbs. And I love these little mini books. They are so cute. And she gives really good instructions that comes with your whatever you buy. And, um, you know, it's pretty easy to follow. So this is what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to do this one up and let y'all kind of follow along with me. I've already... The reason why I've already started this is because my video wasn't going. So anyway, I cut, cut this out. This is actually the big part of the pocket, okay? And it's very self-explanatory. Um, you fold back the flaps, and then you add um, this pocket here. And then there is this little side pocket. So that, isn't that darling? I just love it. You know, it's really cute. And then, yes, I got me some of these blending brushes, and I love them. Everybody's using them, and I like them because they're so soft. They work pretty good. I need to get me some new um, stain, I think, some Tim Holtz Distressed Ink, or whatever you want to call it, because I tend to use mine like crazy. But anyway, you... Go around and just cut out all your ephemera, which is what I have done. And I even put a little, some pink, I mean not pink, purple um, inks on some of them because I thought it would be really cute. So that is what you do. And some of it, like I said, I did do some uh, sewing on mine. And she has, I think she has videos on this, so I'm sure she probably can explain it better than me, but um, I just thought, well, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and video it. Y'all can follow along, and maybe y'all might make one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been having such a good time making uh, stuff to go in my Etsy store, so I'm excited to get some more new stuff in there. I had to really get with it when I got back off my trip. I had so much goodies. I come home with lots of goodies. And now I gotta get busy doing some stuff. And I'm hoping to, like I said, I'm getting close to my thousand sub subscribers on YouTube, so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Uh, so y'all need to be checking back with that. And I'm gonna be doing, I'm hopefully going to do some happy mail here before too long. Some people that have been really good about always um, saying stuff on my videos, My some really faithful followers is what I call them. People that, you know, really stick with you and watch your videos and stuff. I think that, you know, it's so sweet of them to comment. And I do appreciate it so much. It encourages me so much too. All right, so I got that one done. So let's put this one here on there. Where is it at? There it is. 
this one. It's gonna go like right there. So um, my porch prints is on is an Etsy store. Um, she has a Facebook page too, and a, I think a blog. So uh, if you haven't checked her out, you need to. Uh, Cause said her 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 digitals are just oh, I could buy all of them. I think. I am a sucker for digitals. Uh, that is one of my downfalls. I love digitals. I wish I was talented enough. I, I got the Adobe Photoshop and have been do, you know doing the Graphic Fairy to some tutorials and stuff, but I think I'm gonna have to buy the, where she really teaches the basic stuff, because this little, this, this little girl is not really smart enough. I, I just can't. I forget stuff too easy, so um, I have to. I may have to take the basic course in it to kind of. And I and they do it do it um, like at, at the schools and stuff, but it's just too hard for me to go in in the evening. I live too far away from where I live to to really benefit from that too much. So I'm probably gonna do the graphic fairy one because I like to learn how to do a few things. You know, I think it's fun. It's it's interesting. I love I love collages. That is my most favorite thing is the collage. So I love doing that. And um, that's kind of, I want to do, do up some collages and some ephemera, you know. So, you know, it's, I love to create. So I thought that would be kind of fun to learn to do that. I don't know if I'll ever succeed in it, but I don't know, maybe. And this is kind of this is kind of like a little file folder that she has the little pockets on it, and I thought that was really cute too. So what I'm going to do next is I've got this all done up. This is a little flower that she um, has, and it's like a layered. And I've already kind of used some purple um, inks to do it up with, and also she's got this really cute butterfly, and you, you know glue it together, and I made. If I can find it now, I probably lost it. I've already lost the original one. There is a little body to it somewhere. I'll show you here. She said she also you had. I didn't know what that was whenever I cut it out. I was like, "What does this go to?" And then I realized it goes on the butterfly. But I lost one of them. So um, hello. Oh, here it is. I made this one up. I just went and cut, you know, kind of free cut that one out. So I'm going to put that one on there. So, okay, well, and then it's got this beautiful, all these little sayings too that are really cute that um, you can put on your, on your papers and stuff. So I'm going to put those on there. So I, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a little sewing and these are the tags and I just took and put some brads right there on those. They're so pretty. Love them. And this this paper that I'm using, y'all, look how it tea dies up. It's so pretty. That's that Red River paper. And this is the heavier cardstock. And I, I did buy the thinner one, uh, like the 24 pound. And I really love it. It's really good. It's a little bit more expensive, but you get, it's good quality paper. So I really like it. Okay. So I'll be right back. Okay. I have done my sewing and put on some of these little sayings here here, and I used the kind of violet color um, sewing thread and I just think that makes it kind of pop a little bit. So did that, added this little measuring tape at the top for a little pull thing and got my little book, mini book ready to do. But first off, I want to finish up my loaded pocket. That's what she calls them, loaded pockets. So. I'm going to assemble this, and let me see how I'm gonna put this in here. Let's put these at the top, which I think looks super cute. Then I have these two uh, tags that are very, very pretty. We'll put them in next, I think. You, know, you can kind of do them however you want to, um, but this is just the way I'm gonna put them in there. And then I'm going to glue my three dimension butterfly together and 
she just um, does an excellent job on doing these, I think. And like I said, the instructions are so good. I love it. And let me find my little body here that I had to cut out because I lost the one that she sent. Little bitty pieces like that tend to get kind of misplaced sometimes, especially when you have so much stuff laying around. All right, doesn't that look cute? And then once it dries, you can kind of pull the little butterfly deals apart. And also, I mean, I kind of make it like where it fly, make it where it's flying. I put some of this, I, it's glitter glue. And this is a bottle that's about seen its last day. But I like to kind of add a little bit of that on the edges of it. But you just got to make sure you're careful because you don't want it to glue together. I love this glitter glue. I, You can get this, I think Walmart carries it. It's Tulip brand. Um, I just love it. And you can get it at um, Hobby Lobby too. I'm sure Michaels has it. But you want to make sure that, you know, you keep this apart or that will glue together. So that's real important. And then we'll, we'll stick it on here. All right, now I have this flower that she you cut out. And same effect. Just going to glue the middle of it. Hold on again, make sure I'm in frame here. Sorry, y'all. And keep, I just kind of stack it up, just to kind of put it, you know, a little, if I can bring that in a little bit closer, a little bit um, to where the flower petals are, you know, not all together, because you, you want it to have a kind of that dimension look too. And here's another one. And then this one. And this one I'm actually going to put a button on. And when this dries too, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. Love the way that turned out, it's so gorgeous. I have these little buttons here, and these I got off of Amazon, and y'all, you should have seen the mess a while ago. Let me take that out a little bit. Miss um, Cogs Crafts uh, use these buttons, and you can get them, you can get different, you know, more or whatever, but they were like $10 for all these from Amazon. So, um, this is the brand here, if you can see that. Anyway, um, I love them. They're really, really cool buttons, and I like it because there's just so many different ones, and I think I'm going to add that button on the top, just for something different. See how cute that is? Love that. And when that dries, I'll put some of that um, glitter glue on there too. All right, I have added this. This came with a little um, postcard or envelope, really what it is. So I think I'm going to put that right here on there. I'm just gonna glue that on. Like I said, you can basically do this however you want. It's, it's, She's got an example on her, on her, um, you know, thing, on her Etsy store of how you can do it. But, you know, everybody, you know, everybody wants to do things different. You don't want to do it exactly like everybody else. So, that's why I always say about it. Get your, put your own take on it. So, and this ticket here, which I love, and I did notice that she has some really cool tickets. I think I'm going to put that like right up there, but I'm gonna do it this way. She has some really, really, really cool tickets on her um, Etsy page, um, Etsy store too. And, oh, they're so cute. I'm gonna have to get them. I just love that. All right, um, this one here is kind of an extra one. I'm probably not gonna use it. So, you know what? I'll save it and use it on another one. I wanted to show y'all my cover. This is that Stamperia. And um, I took and tea dyed it, and didn't that tea dye just gorgeous? Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. So that's gonna be my cover for my little um, lavender book. And um, you know, I'll do some decorating in it and fix it up cute. And I am going to use this, like on my other, my, my 
B one, I'm going to use this as kind of like a bookmark and I'm going to put my butterfly on there. I thought that was cute, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put some glue on there and stick my little butterfly on this little um, ruler. I love doing stuff like this. Isn't that cute? All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably put my flower there and I could do that, but I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. I'm thinking not. I'm looking in the pit. I'm looking in the, I don't know. I'm gonna have to decide on that one. So anyway, I don't wanna stick this in there because it's not quite dry, but I will take a picture of it and put it on the end of the video. Uh-oh. Drop the flower on the floor. Okay, let's get this little book together right quick. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this one, too. I've got this, too, I can stick on there. So, like I said, she sends so much stuff. It's just amazing. Okay, this right here is very easy, pretty easy to do. What you do is you have to fold. This is one of the little booklets, and you fold it. Um, you got to do a little, uh, you know, what do you call that when you use your... Oh gosh, I can't even think of the name of it and I can't even find it. Your bone folder and crease it here and here. And she has the instructions, like I said, on how to do it. And yes, I had to like look at them 50 times before I could figure it out because, oh my goodness. And you just use stick glue to glue all this together. And it usually works really good. But let me bring this in a little bit. Okay. It's called a herb lore. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but sounds good. Okay. Then what you do is you take and you um, fold these up in accordion, your little papers, and you uh, glue them together. So basically, you're gonna glue one side to the other. So I'm just gonna do that again, glue it all the way down. And you just do like this. And it just makes, see, the little pages. And if you want some really good stick glue, this Scotch Create is really good, and I get it from Amazon. I order a lot of stuff from Amazon. I do order from some individuals um, on Etsy. I'm fixing to put an order in to Tattered Dreams, um, and I order from, oh my goodness, what is her name? I feel bad because I've, I've already done two orders with her, and she is so sweet. Her name is Sue. And I think it's called Tiffany's. She has a store too, and I order, she has a lot of stuff that I use in my crafts. I will put that on my video. I'm terrible with names of things. But she's such a sweetheart, I love her. And she always um, comments on my videos a lot. And she's just, uh, I love buying things from her. And also Susie, um, Creative Cave Girl. I'm fixing to order some stuff from her. She's got a lot of cute stuff in her store. And I don't know what the name of her store is either. But I'll put all that in the description or in on my video. So in case somebody wants to check out their stuff, if you haven't already, you know, they all have really neat stuff that you can put use in your, your um, crafts. So, once you get all that together, then you're just going to take and make sure you have the fold like this on the outside. I made some of these for uh, Easter, and they turned out super cute. And then you just put your glue in where the spine is on this, and then you stick this down on here, okay? Like that. See? I'm putting that on the spine. 
I mean, you can kind of see how I'm not in frame. And you got to make sure you got them stuck way down there. You know, you want to get them to where they adhere to the spine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to give you something to kind of keep it closed and tight, something like that, or you know, book one of those book page deals, and just let it sit for a while. And you may have to kind of work with it, but it usually works. It worked before when I made these. So I thought that was really cute. And um, she, I'm going to put that. She's also got some B ones that I'm probably going to get. And I'm going to use them in when I list these on my Etsy store. So, because I'm trying to do up something a little different for a change. I'm doing up some kind of, you know, where you can buy little accessory kits. And, and just all kinds of cute stuff with this. And then um, um, I'm kind of, I don't know, I just had to do something different for a change. Instead of just doing the big junk journals, I, I'm, I've got a couple that I've got to finish up. But this right here is going to be my B one. And I think I'm going to use, somehow incorporate this black with this. If it works, maybe. So that's going to be my idea on that. So thank y'all so much for watching and taking the time out to um, come along with me on this little crafty trip here and thank y'all um, so much for your lovely comments i appreciate it y'all subscribe to my channel and um y'all have a blessed day